Today I'm going to have a look at two Steam Deck docks and neither of these are the Valve ones as that is still on hold thanks to JSOX and iVola for sending over their Steam Deck docks for us to review here. Starting off with the iVola, this has the cheaper plastic design but actually one of the things I really like about this is the tilt angle and it really sits neatly in the dock. You'll see here, look at the angle of the tilt. So when you're using it just as a stand, it is tilted that little bit further back. So if it's on your desk, it's a lot easier to see that screen. And again, if you're using it just with a mouse and keyboard, but just the screen on the Steam Deck itself, then that angle is a lot better for you. Connection wise, this has three USB, one USB-C for the power input and the HDMI input. The USB-C and the HDMI are the wrong way around in my opinion. I do feel that the USB-C should be at either end here for ease of that power. And it does seem a little bit odd that it's in the middle here. Three inputs is enough if you've got mouse, keyboard and like me an NVMe storage device then you can fit all three of these. But if you wanted a couple of peripherals, then you are going to struggle and no USB-C for connection, only for power here. So that is a bit lacking. The power lead is a little bit stiffer on the iVola, but it connects just fine and doesn't move around, which is the most important thing. Quality wise on the output for the HDMI is absolutely fine. And I'll put the quality side by side a little bit later on so you can just see the difference between the two here. But I do actually favor the iVola quality of the output slightly more than that of the JSOX, and I'll come on to that a little bit later. So, overall, the iVola is a little bit lower quality, and you can get those fingerprint markings. It doesn't have Ethernet at the moment, but it does have that better viewing angle. So, let's switch over to the JSOX. This also has the three USB, but the HDMI and the USB C are swapped around so that the USB C is on the end. And we have the Ethernet adapter on this one. There is a version of this without the Ethernet and only two ports, but we're looking at the latest model here. Connection wise, this was a little bit more fiddly. One thing to note is that Ethernet port is really tight. So if you are unplugging that for any reason, it does take a bit of force. The other thing to note with the JSOX dock is it doesn't seem to fit 100% flat. I do feel like it rocks a little bit. And the lip at the front isn't angled. It's got some pads in there to stop it moving around. So it is a bit of a strange fit. And I do always feel like it might tip forward if you're not careful because it's not really being held in place. They're just kind of stopped from sliding. Quality wise though, once again, no input lag or issues with the quality of the image and really does work perfectly fine. The links for both of these docs can be found in the description below. So if you use those links, it really will help out the channel as we do get a bit of a commission for those. Just a word of warning, I did encounter an issue when I was really pushing these hard on the JSOX dock. It did overheat when I was downloading some stuff on Windows and also trying to push Windows 11 games. And I did get this issue with the HDMI out. No reboot solved this. I did have to wait for the dock to cool down and then it was back to normal. So I have spoken to them on this and it seems to be a thermal issue. They are looking into it, but at the moment, just if you're gonna get high temperatures or in a closed environment, then just be aware of that. Using the mouse and keyboard, I did have Windows 11 again with that SSD Windows to go and run Lost Ark with the mouse and keyboard here just Lucky. fine. This was the JSOC dock when it was behaving when I pushed it a little bit more further down the line. It did have that overheat issue as I saw, but when the temperatures were in range, it was perfectly fine here. With the iVola, I did connect up ready or not and had a play and it was absolutely perfectly fine. Some longer footage of this will be on the channel later showing off some of the Steam Deck desktop mode with the dock. So you can see this footage a bit later on, but I just wanted to show that with mouse and keyboard, it was not an issue playing on the eye wallet either. So let's have a look at the quality difference. I put Spider-Man on both of these and just swapped the deck over. And in my opinion, the eye wallet is on the left and the brightness is a little bit closer to what I actually see on the screen here. And I do think that the iVola just had slightly better brightness overall. The JSOX is still very good, but the darkness does seem to come through even on the same brightness settings. It does just seem a little bit darker on the image overall. 
We've already been told by both JSOX and iVola that there is a new model on the way and hopefully we'll have some USB-C ports in as well. Let us know in the comments below if you have picked one of these up or which one you're going to and please use the links in the description below to help the channel out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.